V A L L E Y. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Stardew Valley. Uh, in the last video, ooh, we got more rain tomorrow. Uh, in the last video, we went ahead and turned in our watering can in order to upgrade it to a copper watering can, uh, as well as made some a little bit of progress in the mines, as well as did a little bit of uh, grinding in the mines for copper as well. Uh, in the last, or jeez, it's Groundhog Day up in here. Uh, rather, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and turn in our. Um, shoot, now I'm losing my words. We're gonna turn in our pickaxe uh, to get upgraded uh, after selling, or rather cracking open some geodes there. You can see we got our gold star parsnips that we needed. Excellent. We got a letter here as well. Oh, excellent. Got a letter here from the Stardew Valley Tribune. I wish that was an actual paper we could read in the game. Unfortunately, this letter doesn't really mean a whole lot. Uh, you see we got some more copper bars here, so let me go ahead and take some of these out. So that I can go ahead and smelt some more. Okay, so one thing I definitely want to do today, uh, in addition to going and getting... Let's see, take those. And getting my uh, pickaxe upgraded is I want to be uh, getting some more clay today. And I need about four more pieces of it uh, for what I want to be doing with it. So I'll go ahead and take my hoe with me. Not my fishing pole, my hoe. Uh, I'll keep my fishing pole in my inventory, though. As well as my axe. No, you know what? I'm actually going to put all this stuff away because I'm going to need the space. Let's see. Just trying to think. You know what? I will take my axe with me, too, because I think I might go chop down some more wood today as well. Um, it's Monday, so pier is open, so we can drop these off by there. Um, oh, we gotta set aside one of the golden ones, though. Can't forget to do that. It might behoove me to make a run to the community center while I'm at it. Um, didn't I already turn a leak in? Let me go ahead and check that real quick. Yeah, okay. So I actually don't need that leak anymore in there, I don't think. Or this, either. Ah, uh, that's got me a little worried now. No, but I already- I just looked at the bundle. I know it's done. Okay. I'll put these away in here. And, yep, that should be good. Okay. So, Clint's won't open until... 9, just like Pierre's. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start hoeing the land here. Uh, again, the reason I'm using the hoe here is because I'm looking for some clay. Um, I think you have a chance to hoe up some clay on yellow dirt like this, even if there's no like little worms around, although you will definitely get some if you do see those worms. Oh, and if you hear that tapping sound, that's actually the woodpecker there that unfortunately we just scared off. Um, let's see, let's pick up this daffodil. Hmm, I might be wrong, actually, about finding clay when there's no worms. Maybe that's just like a... Or maybe it's a very small chance. I'm not too sure, actually, exactly the mechanics of that. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing anything, though. Hmm. Well, I know, if nothing else, that you can get uh, clay from holding up the dirt in the mines. Uh, which is not something I normally do, but I might have to make an exception if I can't find any out here. Um, in a perfect world, I'd find all that clay today, but if I can't do it for the next couple of days, that's fine, too. Uh, you can see it's close enough to 10 o'clock here, or 9 o'clock, rather. So let me go up to Clint's, and let me check the trash cans here while I'm waiting. Nope, nothing. Wow, again, I just- I know I've talked about this a lot, but I've been so unlucky with those trash cans. Hmm, okay, well that's fine. You see here, now we have the copper watering can! Excellent! That'll be very, very handy. And, first things first... Um... Wait, can I not... 
Oh, I didn't bring any of my geodes with me, did I? Crap. Uh, that's okay. I was gonna say, like, why isn't the... the thing for processing geodes coming up? Well, you have to actually have geodes in your uh, inventory to do that. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Uh, I am gonna swing by Pierre's first to sell these parsnips. Okay, I'll hang on to these these uh, daffodils as well as the leek. You know what? Well, okay, I'm trying to think if I want to water while I'm there, too. I should do that, but I'm afraid of running out of time and not getting back to Clint in time. You know what? I'll, I'll have enough time. I, what am I saying? Okay, so let me... Ooh, when those copper bars are done. So I can actually go ahead and just drop these off in here. Let me take some more out. Okay, excellent. Yeah, and I'll show you exactly why I was so eager to get the copper watering can. Yeah, you see, now I can water three rows at a time. Or three crops at a time, rather. Uh, this will be very, very nice to have. Hmm, I'm thinking about it too. While I'm at Pierre's... Oh, yeah, I already went by Pierre's, though, didn't I? <laughs> Shoot. Um, I do have enough time to grow some more crops, though. So I think I'm going to swing by there again and pick up some potato seeds, in which case I'm definitely going to want to water these as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff watered and um, go by Pierre's, get potato seeds. I'll get 22 of them just to fill the spots. 23, actually, since I have the spot for the cauliflower here. And I'll go ahead and meet you after that, back at Clint's. With my geodes, too. Can't forget those. Oh, no! Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in, because you can see... Oh, my God. I'm so mad at myself for doing that. Uh, you definitely don't want to accidentally use your axe or pickaxe, because you'll do what I just did there, and actually destroy your own crops. That is something you can do. Ah, oh, that was a strawberry plant, too. Shoot, that makes me so upset. Uh, not so upset. I'm not that upset. I'll, I'll live, but I'm a little annoyed at myself. Okay, it's 1 p.m. Really want to be keeping an eye on the time here. In fact, I'm not even going to worry about getting those copper bars right now. Um, let's go ahead and fill up the watering can. Move that over here. I'm actually going to end up putting that away. And the reason that I'm going to put that away uh, is because I am going to process all these geodes. And we're going to need the inventory spaces open in order to actually um, collect a decent amount of items from that. Take those out. Put these away. Okay, got this. Put the leak away. Got the geodes. Hmm, yeah, I'll put the axe away, too. Because I definitely think I want to prioritize trying to find clay over trying to find, uh... Or trying to chop down some trees. You know, I'm going to go ahead and organize this, because this is... And not having this organized is kind of giving me agita right now. Oh, did I not take the frozen geodes? Shoot, I need those, too. Uh, okay, we still have enough time to make it over to Clint's before he closes. Hopefully... Because he closes at 4, actually, unlike Pierre, who closes at 5. Ah, uh, you know what, though? Wait, where did I... Oh, I put them in here, I bet. Yep, there they are. You know what, though? Shoot, am I going to have enough time to go by Pierre's? I don't know that I am. I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to try to swing by Pierre's, grab now 24 potato seeds, and then go over to Clint's and process as many geodes as I can before turning into my pickaxe right before 4. Definitely going to need to watch that time, though, when we do that. Oh, here's Leah. Um, let's see if she likes salmon berries. Nice! Okay, she does. Excellent. Okay, Pierre. Oh, six days to mature. Okay, we're not going to have enough time for that then, so I'm going to get parsnip seeds. Okay, there's those. Got those. Okay, it's 2.30. We should definitely have enough time here. 
Let me actually see. Okay, good. I do have a heart with Leah now. Excellent. Uh, gotta make it, gotta make it. Shoot, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to process geodes. I don't think I am. Not at this rate. Well, maybe for a little bit here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the Omni Geo. Actually, I, time I don't think passes while I'm in this menu. If that's the case, then we'll definitely have enough time to do all these. Yeah, I want to do the Omni Geodes and then the Frozen Geodes first because they have a ooh, they have a chance to drop better things than just regular uh, Geodes do. See all these different gems we're getting here. They're not useful for crafting anything in particular, and good time isn't passing while we're in here. They're not useful for crafting anything in particular, but rather you're going to want to turn these into Gunther. Uh, if you hover over an item in the description says Gunther can tell you more about this in the museum, that means that you haven't donated it to him yet, so that's a good way of keeping track of that. Uh, if you get duplicates of these gems uh, that you take to Gunther uh, in the museum, then you can just sell them to Clint. Is that a thunder egg? No, a Necoite. <laughs> I totally just got that. It's Necoite. Like a Neko. You know what I mean. Boy, that's kind of like that one's a thunder egg. I remember that name in particular because I think that's a really cool name. Makes me wonder if Necoite's an actual, like, mineral or if they were just running out of names for these fantasy minerals here. Okay, you see we got one more spot open here, so after I get something new like that, I'm going to have to put these back away. Now, I'm going to try to run down to Gunther's real quick and donate some of these. I don't think that'll actually take any time away either. I have my pickaxe on me, don't I? Okay, thank God. You donate to museum. One of these dwarven helms. Take this. Thunder egg. This thing. You can see earth crystals we can actually drop off here too. That'll also apply to topaz, rupees, and other precious gems you get in the mines. Uh, and as you're seeing, uh, we get rewards every time we turn in something. Not every time we turn in something new, but for turning in enough new things to the museum. So let's go ahead and collect our rewards here. Uh, ooh, we got a piece of furniture for our house. Some cauliflower seeds that unfortunately we can't plant, it's too late in the season, but we'll go ahead and sell those, as well as melon seeds for summertime, excellent. And unfortunately time did stop while doing that, so we can go just back up to Gunther and break the rest of these geodes open here. Okay. Ooh, we got some clay out of that one, excellent. Can we get three more pieces? Probably not, but it'd be nice if we did. Okay, that one I think we already turned in. We did, okay. Uh, that one, yeah, that's the Necoite. Ooh, one more piece of clay. Can we get two more? Big money, no whammy, stop. The Thunder Egg. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this spare stuff to Clint here. Um, let's see, this, this, this was spare. Now we can't sell the Dwarven Helm to him. Let me check my inventory real quick. Okay, that's spare. That's not good, I almost sold that. Petrified slime, we can donate. Okay, so just this yellow rock right here we'll go ahead and sell. Um, and then now that we've done all that, we'll go ahead and have him upgrade our pickaxe. Excellent. So yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to mine for the next couple of days, but that's alright. Oh, I thought it was closed for a second. I was really confused. Let's go ahead and donate this, and this, and this here. Alright, you can see we got another reward out of that. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a starfruit seed, which we can also plant in summer, and I'll be very glad to do that. Uh, starfruit is actually um, 
one of the most profitable fruits in the entire game. I believe behind one other fruit it is actually the most profitable. Uh, these I'm going to go ahead and put down here as well as the cauliflower seeds. Okay. Okay, so next thing on our agenda... Let's see, we can just sell the seeds, the cauliflower seeds at the end of the day. I want to come down to the beach here. Uh, let's say hi to Elliot. Oh, really? How interesting. I said that a little facetiously. I don't know. I'm just trying to make conversation with the characters here. Yeah, I came down here to look for worms on the beach. I don't really see any, though, unfortunately. I do see some things we can pick up here, though. Oh, and we still gotta repair this bridge, too. Shoot, I haven't done that yet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just kind of scouring the town and the valley for, uh... Uh, little roots I can dig up. Um, so if I see any, I'll go ahead and show those. Um, if not, I'll probably just meet you back at the farm. Oh, here's some right here. Nice! Two more clay, that's perfect. Okay, so unfortunately we can't do what I have in mind with those tomorrow, but Wednesday we're definitely going to want to go... I'll just tell you, we're going to go up to Robin's place and have her construct our first farm building. Uh, in order to construct this farm building, the silo, you will need 100 gold, uh, 10 pieces of clay, and 5 copper bars, as well as some amount of wood, I'm not too sure. Oh, here's Harvey. Now we finally finished our introduction quest. Oh, and here our next thing is to give someone a gift. Let's, uh, sure. Oh, you see, this is Harvey's, uh, hate reaction. And I'm a little miffed I kind of wasted a salmon berry on him, but at least we got 100 gold out of it. Which is definitely far more than they would sell for. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant these parsnip seeds. And I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting some more wood. Oh no, did I get one too many? Shoot! Oh, you know what? Oh, here we go. Duh, because the uh, strawberry seed I killed. I still feel a little bad about doing that. I don't know. I know it's not that big of a deal, but still. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and... You see, we're running a little bit low on uh, coal here. But I'm going to go ahead and start making some iron bars. I'm also going to want to put away this and this oyster here for the uh, community center. And let's see... These seeds I'm going to put away in here. Um, can I put the Dwarvish Helm in the thing, I wonder? Let me find out. Uh, these are going to go in there. Okay, I can. And I'm going to go ahead and put this standing geode inside my house. Uh, we'll put it right here. Sure, why not? Oops, right there. There we go. Okay, now let me see. I'm going to take out my clay, my wood, and the copper bars here. Uh, so that way I remember to go get that building tomorrow. Oh, I'll also put some of these torches out while I'm at it. Oh, we also want to get our stuff back out here. And I'll go ahead and organize this. Yeah, don't mind me, this is just me being particular about how I like my inventory to look. There we go, that'll be fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna put a torch up here, so the kitty can have some light. And I'm gonna put some by the entrances to our farm as well. Like this up here, well, I'll put some by the caves too while I'm at it. Um, let's see, let's take the axe. Take care of that. And this. Put the torch here and here. As well as one here and here. Uh, I'll go ahead and put one here and here as well. Why not? Uh, 
Um, let's see. I'm just thinking to myself, what do I want to talk about while I cut down this wood? Uh, still the same day I'm recording the previous episode, so I'm still kind of reeling from that lost episode, but it's not a huge deal. I'm not super worried about it. I'm staying extra vigilant to uh, kind of make sure that doesn't happen again. I say as I immediately glance at my timer to make sure I'm recording. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely don't want to miss out on too many days here. Because, uh, again, I just kind of feel bad. I want this episode, or this LP, rather, to have some nice continuity to it. That looks like those iron bars are done already. Let me go ahead and collect these. And then, let's see. Oops. Put that away these away and take these out hmm there's a part of me that almost wants to just immediately upgrade my pickaxe to steel once I get the uh, copper one back although I don't know that I want to go that long without mining let's see so I turned it on the 22nd I'll get it back on the 24th if I turn it in again immediately I'll get it back on the 26th no, I definitely just want to mine with the copper pickaxe before I, uh, before spring ends. I'd like to get down to 460, as I've said multiple times now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put out some more torches, though. Put some to the south here. Like, I'll put one here. And I'll put some by the southern exit to my farm, too. I just like to have torches by the entrances and exits to the farm. It just, it feels nice. Well, another cool thing is you can kind of put torches behind shrubs like this to kind of give like a natural glow kind of effect. Uh, still have some energy here. Let's see, this grass I want to leave alone. Oh, you might have noticed too that I got a message at the end of the last video that the weeds were invading my farm. I don't know why that, that pops up because almost every time it does pop up for me, it's not actually doing any damage to my crops. Um, so maybe that's just the weeds spreading on the farm in general. Although I feel like, now I need to go back and look at that at some point. I feel like it explicitly said that the weeds were damaging my crops, which as you can see, they definitely weren't. Um, yeah, we'll have enough to cut this down. Alright. You know, another thing I think I want to do, as long as I'm thinking about it, is I'm going to take this sap out and I'm going to make more fertilizer. Um, oh, we can make a tapper, too. That's actually going to be pretty good to have at this point. We need the copper bars for it, though. So I don't want to use those just yet. We are going to want to make a tapper at some point pretty soon here. Uh, you'll use that for um, getting stuff out of trees, basically like like sap or um, like maple syrup or something. Uh, put those away. Put these away. Sort all that. And, okay, we're looking good. Oh, those are done. Do we have anything else we can throw in there? A little bit more iron ore. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Maybe some quartz, too. Uh, I'll do the quartz, actually. Hmm, don't know why those three finished way before the other ones there. There we go. Yeah, get a little bit more refined quartz. Yeah, you see, we're, we're down to one coal, though. We desperately need some. Oh, shoot, I forgot to turn this into Gunther. Oh, that's not that big of a deal. Put these away. Now we got ten iron bars. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, finally going to get to bed here. Okay, we did get money for that Dwarven Helm. I thought we weren't going to, but... Well, all right. Oh, you know what? I just, I even said it earlier in this video. I actually can't go ahead and get that upgrade yet today. Let's see what the weather says for tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow is the flower dance. Um, oh, well, that means I won't be able to do it tomorrow either. Wow, that's a pain. Getting the silo, I mean. 
Um, so I know I said earlier in the game that I don't want to skip a whole lot of events. This flower dance, however, is going to be one of them. Uh, I'm going to skip it, but only during year one. And the reason that I'm going to skip it is because this event is based on your hearts with people. Um, yeah, it's, it's talking about if you can find a partner, you can dance with them. Um, I think it's a little cruel of them to kind of put this event so early in the game. Because at this point, you're not going to have uh, enough hearts with people to dance with them. I think you need at least... Uh, you know, I don't know what the figure is. I was going to say four, but that's really just me spitballing off the top of my head. Um, okay, so you know what? We should have turned both of these into Gunther. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Um, okay, I think what I am going to do today, then, is just chop down some wood, and I'm going to go ahead and fix the bridge down by the ocean as well. Now, there is a large part of me that wants to clear out some of my farm, um, but there's also a part of me that kind of doesn't want to, because basically, between seasons, uh, all the rocks and trees uh, and bushes on your farm, as well as out here in the valley, are going to grow back uh, by a lot. It won't be quite as bad as when you first started the game, uh, but it'll still be a fair bit of um, just general junk. That said, though, I think I am actually going to go ahead and clear out my farm a lot today. Um, that's kind of what I like to do on days like this where I don't really have a whole lot else to do. Uh, it's a good way to build up supplies like stones and wood. Um, and, I mean, I guess I could fish today, but I'm not super hurting for the money or anything. Then again, there's really no reason not to fish now that I think about it. I might actually end up doing that. You know what? Now that I have the money and while I'm here thinking about it, I should buy a new rod from Willy. So yes, we'll use 300 pieces of... Oh, this is interesting. 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge. Oh, you see we've got a nice little blue effect there since it was raining on the day we did it too. Uh, but over here you'll be able to find coral and sea urchins as forageables. Um, in addition to uh, other stuff. Oh, there's a man standing up here. Hmm. Oh. Well, okay. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Well, we'll be finding out about that later, viewers. Um, yeah, while I'm thinking about it, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the next level of rod and some bait from Willy. Um, I'll be able to sell this coral to him, too, so I can kind of get some of that out of my inventory. Oh, gotta wait for his shop to open, though. I guess while I'm doing that, I can go ahead and fish real quick. This will actually be nice now that I think about it. Since it's raining, we can get some more eels later this evening when they start appearing. Uh, which I believe sell for quite a bit more than other fish do at this point in the game. You know, I also need to catch a sardine and set that aside for the community center because I didn't do that. And there we go. All right. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and sell them these to clear out some inventory space. And now we can buy, not a bamboo pole, but the fiberglass rod. Um, let's see, I'll buy a little bit of bait here. You can see it only costs five gold uh, per bait. However, there's much easier ways to get bait that we'll be seeing uh, soon enough. I think we actually already have the recipe for it. Um, yeah, you see you can use one bug meat and turn that into bait. So we'll just be doing that for most of our bait. Uh, you can also get... I wonder if we've unlocked that. It doesn't look like we have just yet. Uh, there's something else we can craft that'll allow us to get some bait as well. Uh, but to actually use bait, you'll hover over your rod and right-click on it like so. And now that we have bait on our rod, we'll be able to catch fish much more quickly than we would otherwise. I say, as a fish is taking forever to get hooked. There we go. Yeah, that was a particularly bad example, but trust me, it is worth it. Uh, you know, watching my character fish in game here really makes me want to go fishing. I haven't been fishing in forever. Fishing is one of those things that, and I'm sure a lot of people are like this, like, when you're 
younger, like when you're a kid, um, you know, fishing just seems so boring. But now, like, it just seems like it'd be so relaxing. Oops, get that fish! Dang it! Um, and the few times I have fished when I was older, I definitely enjoyed it a lot more. I'd really like to someday go back up to Canada to go fishing. Uh, when I was about 12 years old, um, I went on a trip with my dad and my brother up to Canada, and we did some fishing. And let me tell you, that was so much fun. Um, you know, we had, like, a, a shore guide with us, too, so he drove the boat up to some good fishing spots. We caught a bunch of walleye, and he even cooked them for us uh, for lunch. And let me tell you something. That fresh-caught walleye is literally, like, to this day... The best fish I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, it was so good. I didn't even like fish at all before I tried that walleye. And let me tell you something, that alone changed my mind. Yeah, he cooked up the walleye with some, like, skillet potatoes, which I also love. I love skillet potatoes. Um, it was just a really cool experience. We went, a, we went on another uh, similar fishing trip. Uh, when I was in high school, I believe I was like 15 or 16. Um, that time though, we didn't go to Canada. We went to... I'm trying to think if it was North Dakota. I don't think it was North Dakota. It was one of the northern states. I'd have to ask my dad. He'd remember. Uh, but it was kind of a similar deal where we had like a shore guide. Um, we helped us, you know, set up our lines and... Uh, we brought the fish back to the hotel, and they cooked it up for us. Oh, it was so good. Let me tell you something. If you've never had fresh-caught fish, and I mean, like, fish you caught an hour before eating it, like, there nothing beats it at all. It's so yummy. I'd be interested to do some deep-sea fishing, too. Or rather, interested in that. Um, so I've actually never been... Oh, come on. I've actually never been out to, like, open ocean. I'd love to go, like, deep sea fishing or, like, scuba diving in open ocean. Um, I know a lot of people kind of have, like, you know, a little, a little apprehensive about that, which I totally understand. Like, thacelophobia is a very real and valid fear. Um, but, man, I, <laughs> I just have the opposite of whatever, whatever thacelophobia is. Even just talking about it makes me just want to watch Blue Planet 2 all over again. Or even the first Blue Planet. It's been a while since I've seen that. I might do that today. I might go ahead and watch the, the first Blue Planet again. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The open ocean is, like... I don't want to use the word terrifying for me personally. But it does still scare me. Ooh, a herring. We'll have to set that aside, too. Um... The open ocean does scare me a little bit, don't get me wrong, but I think it fascinates me more than anything else. And I think, like, what makes it so scary also makes it fascinating to me. I don't know, I didn't do the best job of explaining that, but maybe you get what I mean. Oh, you just stop eyeing my timer. I'm, uh, <laughs> missing a lot of fish here. Not missing them, but... Not reeling them in as well as I could be. Ooh, another treasure chest there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got more bait. Excellent. I was just thinking about uh, if I wanted to go buy some more bait, but now we can just put it on like that. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure we actually have some more bait sitting in the chest at home, too. I remember getting some out of treasure chests earlier in the game, and I'm pretty sure I saved it. Not 100% sure, though. Oof, I love those sound effects. They're very ominous. That's one thing I like about this game, is how, like, very slightly ominous it is at times. Like, it's obviously by no means like a horror game, but there's like those strange sounds, the sewer cutscene, uh, some of the monsters you see in the mine, the fact that there are monsters in the mine, it's just like, it's, there's a little bit of danger, just enough in this world that you think like, if it just makes it feel more real, instead of just like another farming sim game.
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be leaving in too much of this fishing just because we've already seen so much of it at this point in the game. Um, I will start leaving it in a little bit more during summertime. Uh, that's another thing we'll have to look forward to about summer is that there'll be different kinds of fish to catch. Uh, different fish for the community center and um, different fish for the collection in general. I've actually never completed the quote-unquote Pokédex for fish in this game. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever even caught a rare fish. I don't think I have. Actually, I do think there's one that I did get. Um, but only the one. I don't, I don't even know how many rare fish there are altogether in this game. Whoa. Oh, that's an eel, because it's after 4 p.m. Yep. Um, yeah, so that kind of raises the question, am I going to 100% this game? I think the answer is probably going to be no. Um, although, I would like to 100% this game at some point, and I guess if I do, there's no sense in not doing it on camera. Um, I can't make any promises at this time, though. If I do 100% this game, it's probably going to be a situation where, um, I do the, the first two years kind of, like, back-to-back -back as one series, um, and then getting all the other stuff will probably be, like, much after the fact. Okay, so we used up our last piece of bait there. Oh, you know what? And it's too late to get more from Willy. Ah, if I'd noticed that just a moment sooner. Yeah, look at that. He's already out of his house. Um, that's fine. Yeah, you see, we still get it quickly enough here. Okay, before I go and get myself exhausted, let me eat the seaweed here. A sentence you would only hear when playing Stardew Valley. Uh, seaweed is actually pretty good, though, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, when it's, like, prepared, I don't know about fishing it raw out of the ocean, but... Uh, like, seaweed salad or seaweed on sushi is very good. Oh, that makes me want sushi. I've been wanting sushi, like, so badly for the last couple of days, though. I mean, honestly, though, who am I kidding? I've been wanting sushi pretty much every day that I, since I've had it. <laughs> Ooh, that, that eel makes me want sushi, too. I love eel sauce, and I love eel, too, but I especially love eel sauce. I could seriously drink it. As gross as that sounds, I could seriously drink eel sauce. Ugh, I need to stop talking about this. There's a great sushi place over in uh, in one of the neighboring towns near to me called Volcano, and I've been itching to go there for, well, since the last time I went there about a month ago. I want those Volcano Rolls. They have pretty good bento boxes there, too. Although, honestly... I think when I go next time, I'm going to skip on the bento box just so I can eat more sushi. Uh, ooh, we got another piece of bait there. I'll go ahead and put this on if for no other reason than to fill up a slot in the inventory. <laughs> you know, as long as I'm talking about seafood and the ocean, um, I guess I could kind of pontificate about what my favorite kind of fish is. Like, if I'm just having the fish straight up... I think it's just got to be salmon. I love me some salmon. Ooh, we got another treasure chest here. Um, I don't know. I actually haven't had walleye since I went on that fishing trip uh, so many years ago now. Just because, like, I'm afraid it just won't hold up. Um, ooh, we got a decent bit of coal, I noticed there, too. We got 16 pieces again, which is very good. I was a little bit worried about that because coal can be... A little bit difficult to get sometimes. Um, basically, the way I try to grind for coal is I'll go down to floor 40 in the mines and look for those little, like, coal sprite enemies. Uh, the really cute ones. Uh, and I'll just try to get coal by killing those, because they'll drop coal almost every single time you kill one. 
There is also the charcoal. I don't know if we have the recipe to make that just yet. Um, but with the, or the kiln, rather. Or is it a charcoal kiln? I'm not too sure. But basically, you can throw ten wood into that, and it'll turn it into one coal. Uh, I really don't think that's worth it, though. I did it a lot in my first, uh, my, my first profile in this game, and I ended up needing, like, wood a lot of times later in the game as a result of doing that. So... I personally would generally advise against using a charcoal kiln uh, unless you're like really, really desperate for coal or you really don't want to go down into the mines. You know, the interesting thing is that it's actually possible to beat this game. I mean, there's no real beating this game, but it's, it's definitely possible to make a lot of progress in this game without even going down into the mines. Um, which is something I never really considered before, is like a no mine run. The problem with doing something like that is that you would have to buy all your ore from Clint, and that's just so, so not worth it. I don't remember what prices he charges off the top of my head, but whatever it is, it's too much. And I think it is like a hundred gold for like iron ore, or maybe even a hundred for copper ore, which is, is not worth it. Don't... Unless you're specifically trying to do, like, a no-mine challenge, don't ever buy ore from Clint. Not worth. Not worth at all. Mm, I think after I reel in this fish, I'll go back to the farm and probably just spend the rest of my energy on cutting down trees. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I would like to get up to 200 wood, because I don't remember off the top of my head how much wood you need for the silo. I don't think it's 200. I think it's only 100, but I'd rather, you know, better be safe than sorry. Uh, I'll show you here. We got a really nice haul, actually. Like, eight gold star eels. Like, these are going to sell for so much money. And it's actually, wow, I picked a perfect time to stop with all my inventory slots being full. Got to remember, though, to put... Um, a sardine and a herring away in the community center chest. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Here's what I just realized. So I think because tomorrow is like the flower dance, I don't know if Clint's going to be open. Because I think most shops are closed during festivals, even if you don't go to them. Oh, I really hope that's not the case, but I think it might be. Okay, let's put these away. Um, let's put... Wow, we didn't catch any regular quality fish. I think that's actually a result of having the fiberglass rod as well. Um, is that it'll increase in the quality of the fish you catch. I'm not uh, super sure of that. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll go ahead and put away one of each of these. And let's go ahead and sell the rest. Oh, it's going to be so much money. Okay, let's cut down some more of these pine trees here. Specifically the pine, because we have so many of them. Wow, multiple creepy sound effects in a row. Yeah, you can see these salmon berries are holding up really well, too. Like, you know, I'm coming up on the end of spring here, and I've still got over a hundred of them. Uh, these will definitely last into summer. Let me go ahead and check the fruit bat cave real quick. Oh, wow, you can see we already got some fruit from that. Excellent. Uh, the blackberry... Yeah, we will actually need that for the community center, and, and the peach as well. You see, this is why I like having the fruit bat cave, is because they'll give you some fruit that can actually be hard to come by otherwise. Um, okay, let's put that away. We have over 200 wood, which is good. Go ahead and sort that. Yeah, I think I'll just go to bed. Okay, so thank you so much. Oh, you know what? Our jam is ready, too. Excellent. Uh, I do want to put one of these away in this chest here, because we will need it for the community center. The rest we'll go ahead and throw in to sell. This will be a really nice profit day. I think we gained a fishing level today, too. Maybe even two. Pet the kitty... And off to bed. All right, let's see what we got. Excellent, fishing level six. And... Wow, over 3,000 gold from fishing alone today. That's so nice. 
Yeah, you can see those eels where the vast majority of the profit there. I'm really glad I actually decided to fish, excuse me, in order to make all that money today. Okay, everyone, so thank you so much for watching. Um, this is Hexlex, signing out. Have a good day.